and welcome to Auto Trader Corology Talks, Ultimate Guide to Lead Handling and Management. I'm your host, Ellie Damne, Vice President of Customer Success at Auto Trader. Today I'm joined by Chris Schultes, National Trainer and Consultant from Y Management. Y Management develops and facilitates sales and management training in the form of nationwide workshops, in dealership training, sales process installation, and on site consulting and coaching, serving retail automotive dealerships and OEMs. Chris has joined us to talk about all things lead management. Through car shopper research on autotrader.ca, we've learned that consumers prioritize a good customer experience over price when shopping for their next car. And needless to say, lead management plays a huge role in that. Chris will be sharing his expertise and tips gained through over 30 years of training Canada's leading dealerships who are looking to improve their lead management processes and strategy to garner stronger results when it comes to creating lasting relationships with prospects and converting ups to consumers at a higher rate. Thanks for joining me today, Chris. Why don't you begin by introducing yourself and telling us a bit more about Y Management? Well, thank you, Ellie, and thank you for having me here. Much appreciated. Uh, yes, as mentioned, we've been in business for uh, roughly 32 years. We work right across Canada and the United States, and we work with OEMs, dealer groups, and industry suppliers, and more importantly, to assist dealer groups with these types of processes whether it be with walking customers, whether it be with digital customers. Um, I know you have heaps of great insight to share with us today, so let's get started. Um, what are some of the first steps dealers can take when setting out to optimize their lead management and lead handling processes? First, leads need to be responded to within five minutes, 10 minutes at the very most. Dealerships need to have people poised and ready to reply to all inbound leads. Most dealerships, quite frankly, simply don't have enough people responding. 60 or so e-leads are about the most a dedicated digital consultant can handle. So if you look at it this way, if, if a dealership had too many customers walking on the lot where we could see it, and not enough sales consultants, they would simply hire more. We need to start thinking the same way with respect to e-leads. Second, we need to follow up a fresh e-lead at least three times within the first 24 hours. From there, they should be followed up with new information, what we like to call soft touches, for actually 30 days. Third, to keep prospects engaged, provide new and unique information, uh, videos that highlight one or two of the newest, coolest uh, technology features, uh, the Carfax vehicle history report, the vehicle inspection report, the repair order, a list of what's included in the price, manufacturer's incentives, third-party reviews, and maybe even a brief written explanation of how you actually appraise vehicles once at the dealership. And finally, you need the tools. Tools to support lead management. Uh, for example, a customer relationship management platform to capture, warehouse, and profile customer information. Uh, just as important are customer engagement solutions directly available through inventory listings to help customers quickly connect through you. That would be a lead form, a call, a text message, or even a live chat. How should dealers prioritize leads? Or better yet, should they prioritize leads? Uh, E-leads should not be prioritized. They should be responded to and engaged regardless of the channel and source. Picking through them, looking for the cherries, only actually wastes valuable time. As long as you have a means of connecting with the customer, then a lead is a lead and they are all created equal. And what are your top tips for keeping leads engaged throughout that um, shopping journey? Uh, one, as already mentioned, the speed of the reply is absolutely critical. Now this can just be a, a short sentence or two, uh, a phone call, if the phone number is provided, to let the customer know that you've received their inquiry and will be following up with more detailed information that is personalized and tailored. 
Hey, Ali, I got your email. Thanks so much. We really appreciate the opportunity. I'll be back to you with all the information requested within 30 minutes. Two, send a hello video to introduce yourself. 20, 30 seconds. This makes the contact warm and personal, lets the customer know that you're speaking to a real person, starts to build trust and relationship. And ideally, the sales manager should also send a hello video or have the sales consultant and sales manager uh, do one together. Uh, this will also have you stand out with respect to the competition. Three, in the form of a second follow-up email, answer the customer's questions directly. Don't tell them that they need to come down to the dealership to get a best price. Don't tell them they have to come down to get a trade-in value. If they wanted to come down to the dealership, they'd already be down to the dealership. Uh, so provide information openly and without strings. In fact, provide more information than requested. Provide multiple options with respect to payments, uh, finance, lease, cash. If there's a request for a trade-in value, provide market guidelines uh, with several sources, Auto Trader, V Auto. If a customer requests best price, provide one. But also provide a best price on two additional vehicles along with multiple payment options. Demonstrate that you have inventory, selection, and that you're willing to assist. Also ensure that you ask questions. This is key. You know, what caught your interest with respect to the vehicle that you're inquiring about? What are your must-have features? Do you have a vehicle that you're interested in trading with us? The more back and forth, the higher the engagement. And always remember to try to attempt to secure a showroom appointment. You know, Ali, I would love the opportunity to show you this vehicle up close and personal. I have some time later today after 4 o'clock p.m. or tomorrow morning after 9 o'clock a.m., which would work best for you. Now, just a couple of quick ideas for additional information. That would be images and videos of the vehicle beyond what's available on the listing. Again, a Carfax vehicle history report, available warranties, incentives if it's a new vehicle, third-party uh, reviews and awards, content about the vehicle, uh, how-to videos, educational videos, vehicle key features, uh, information about your dealership's appraisal process, key other vehicles you have listed that the customer might be interested in, and maybe even a why buy from us statement or proposition. One piece of feedback that we've heard from smaller dealer operations is that they struggle to keep up with the leads. Um, what are s some of your uh, tips for those dealerships that don't have um, a dedicated team or a BDC to handle those leads? What's your advice for them? Well, first of all, what a great problem. Uh, there are two kinds of customers that uh, we're dealing with currently. Those that walk into your physical dealership, bricks and mortar, and those that are walking into your digital dealership. So if you have more e-leads than you can handle, your marketing is working, and you need to add sales staff, quite frankly, just as you would if you had more walk-in customers, you would add salespeople. Now, you can also have a series of e-lead reply templates. In other words, prefab replies to the most common inquiries. Do you have the such and such? What's my car worth? What's your best price, etc.? And you can simply set some of these up on Microsoft Word documents so that whoever is replying can do a little copy and paste and obviously personalize it and tailor it to uh, the actual inquiry. And, and for anybody in the audience that would like examples, they can simply email me and I'm happy to provide examples. If you don't have the budget to invest in additional tools, ensure that you pick a simple solution to track your leads and that any customer facing personnel have a defined digital sales process that will actually track customers and warehouse the leads for at least 30 days. The average sales consultant gives up on an e-lead after 72 hours. There is a high percentage, a second wave of customers that actually buys and transacts at 30 days or after. So that's often where a lot of business is done. 
So you've touched on some of the tools dealers can leverage, such as their um, CRM. For auto trader used vehicle listing subscribers that are on the superior package, um, they can leverage features such as enriched leads and consumer insights to gain more information about the consumer's buying journey uh, and help them follow up with prospects. What other tools do you recommend uh, to achieve this? Well, it really starts with having the right channels to allow car shoppers to submit leads. Uh, that would mean having a lead form, a phone number, obviously, but also a phone number for texting uh, directly from the website, an email address, and um, of course, live chat. All the information a consumer should be apprised of to effectively connect with you, and I might add, in the easier to find places uh, wherever you're advertising. Next would be a CRM, um, like you mentioned, or whatever tool you choose to route, warehouse, and track the life cycle of all the leads. And ideally, I have a place to be able to make notes on what those contacts look like. Uh, one tool that I think helps is, is the engagement of videos. Uh, videos, um, with a good uh, video app and a good cell phone, uh, a little bit more of a modern updated cell phone uh, to film and produce hello videos, uh, what I would call vehicle tech videos and explainers. Various different video apps will allow you to not only do amazing short videos, but they'll also allow you to add a little bit of text, meaning your cell phone number, your email address, sometimes even a little music, some basic video um, edit capability. Uh, but more importantly, many of these apps, and some of them free, by the way, uh, will also alert you when a customer on the other end is actually watching your video and how much of it they actually watched. It'll also alert you again if they've returned back to the video. So sometimes the consultant thinks that the lead is dead, gone, they bought a car elsewhere, and three weeks later they're watching the video. And so that certainly says email, text, call, right away somebody is uh, highly engaged. And an easy, really straightforward and free solution is to include action buttons within your staff's email signatures. Uh, calls to action, that would be things like uh, get approved now, what's my car worth, what's my credit score, book a test drive, and buy now. And what are the key differences um, when it comes that dealers should focus on when it comes to their walk-ins? Uh, I think with respect to walk-ins, have sales managers or general managers meet every customer within 10 minutes of their visit uh, to the showroom. There are a multitude of reasons why, but primarily to show gratitude, appreciation, uh, People like meeting the boss and know that he or she is a real person and engaging. And ultimately, it's great differentiation from the competition. Two, offer to have a customer's trade and appraised right up front at the start of their showroom visit. Also, offer to buy their vehicle even if they, for whatever reason, choose not to buy uh, one of ours. And ask the right questions, be prepared to sit down and have a conversation, serve up some hospitality, and try to establish the beginnings of a relationship, but to really understand what they want, not what we're selling or pushing. Uh, questions like, you know, what vehicle would you like more information on? Uh, what vehicle can I provide you more information on? What attracted you to that vehicle accordingly? Uh, next, have salespeople accompany their customers on well-designed scenic demonstration drive routes so that they can creatively and safely demonstrate four to six of the vehicle's newest technologies. Again, the key words here are accompanied demonstration drives. And four, last, always provide customers with a payment-based proposal multiple payment options with various different terms, down payments, depending on whether it's a new vehicle or pre-owned, 
finance, lease, and cash options. Full transparency, even if they're not ready to make a purchase decision today. Chris, I want to thank you again for taking the time and sharing your knowledge and uh, expertise with us. Uh, For dealers that may be looking for additional training, support, um, how can they find out more about you and about Y Management? Uh, Thank you. That would be ymanagement.com, W-Y-E, and they can also uh, phone or email me direct, uh, myself, 416-908-6346. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. Uh, We're sure you'll be leaving with actionable takeaways to bring back to your dealership. For more information on lead management, be sure to visit our website, go.trader.ca slash newsroom for a complete lead management guide. If you're looking for even more support in developing a strong lead management process and action plan, reach out to Y Management for additional training. Thank you, and I hope to have you join us in our next Auto Trader Carology Talks.